Kai Cock Sulphur Mine, one of the prettiest decorated mines in North Wales. Let's take a look. As we entered the mine, we knew there would be adventure. Peering into the black void, it was not long before we found the fur spectacle. Rich deposits of sulphur and iron drawing down in straws from the ceiling. sulfur stalls guarded a small grotto within. The delicate formations were everywhere. The floor, walls and even rocks on the floor were covered in crystals. Crystals so fine that even the smallest touch would bring about their doom. Calcite was creeping through the ceiling, dropping straws, and yet mineralized iron was fighting back everywhere. found the ground in battle, with calcium fighting its way down a wall of iron and sulphur, only to meet its own death in a pool of stagnant acid. Now the sulphur was taking hold, and even the crystals here were burned with yellow sulphur. As we went deeper into the mine, we found blood-red teardrops clinging to the ceiling. An echo of the past. An extinct ochre flow terminating in a now silent pool of acid. Yet, even further into the mine, the formations were still as delicate, long straws of iron and sulphur. And more flows of calcium still fighting against the sulphur. A floor of acid gower formations with deep red pools of acid laying in wait for unwary travellers in this mine. The waters of the lower mine were deep red, an entire chamber flooded with blood red water, and with it an air of foreboding. An alien place, a place where few had ventured, and few would ever dare to venture.
I traveled through the red waters. The passage was long and arduous, but gave way to numerous ore shoots from the Pyrites mine above. Now it was time to leave behind this adventure. And that's it from Kaikok Sulfur Mine. What a very pretty mine it is too. Until next time. <laughs>